This is the video instructions for our lab. In this lab, what we're going to do is we're going to encrypt a message uh, using the Blowfish symmetric cipher. Uh, symmetric cipher uses the same password to decrypt and encrypt. We're going to put the results of our work in the discussion form, and you're going to work with other people in the class in order to validate each other's work and make, make sure that everything works okay. So if you log into the UCI Learn website, you should be able to find in week two something called the Symmetric Encryption Lab. And what we're going to do is described there in the top. Um, we're going to walk through it in the video lab. Each person is going to post one discussion form in which they place their encrypted message. And everyone is going to use the same password for this encrypted message. And that password is going to be the phrase, here comes the future of money. Here comes the future of money has a capital H, and otherwise it's all lowercase. What you're going to do is post your encrypted message. Someone else is going, oh, turn on the lights. Someone else is going to decrypt the message in the forum. And then you're going to come back as a third step and validate that the person who decrypted your uh, message got it correct. And if it didn't, they didn't, didn't get it correct, you guys are going to work together in order to figure out whether it was the encryption that went bad or the decryption that went bad. The algorithm that we're going to use is going to be is, blow, is the Blowfish algorithm, and we're going to use cipher block chaining for that. And there's a couple other things you have to walk through. Now, you can use any tool on the internet that you'd like to that supports online Blowfish, Blowfish encryption. We're going to, I'm going to show you one in particular. And the thing to remember is that because you don't trust this website, they're going to be doing the calculations for you, but you can't trust them to not keep a copy of what you're asking them to encrypt. And so you would never want to do anything secure, uh, something sensitive, using one of these websites because you don't know anything about the organization that's running it. But for the purposes of this class, it's fine to use this tool um, in order to do encryption and decryption. So let's get to it. We have the um, discussion forum open. Let's switch and go over to uh, the web page that will do the um, encryption and decryption for us. Okay, for this one, we're going to go to something called www.toolsfornoobs.com, online underscore tools slash encrypt. And here we're going to have the opportunity to put in the parameters that we need in order to do our encryption. Now remember, key is the technical term. A cryptographic key is a technical term for passwords. So the first thing we're going to do is enter the password that we're using for this assignment. Here comes the future of money. Okay, great. And the what I'm going to encrypt is um, I'll encrypt the beginning of the Gettysburg Address. Great. The algorithm that I want to use to encrypt is going to be Blowfish. I'm going to use cipher block scanning, CBC. And because the output of this, the, the encrypted data that comes out is a bunch of zeros and ones, and it doesn't necessarily um, map very well to letters of the alphabet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to t describe a specific way to represent those zeros and ones. That's called base 64. Um, or we could alternatively use hex. And so if, uh, actually for this assignment, we're going to use hexadecimal because there tend to be more tools online that use hexadecimal. So we're going to go ahead and select hexadecimal and hit encrypt. And Here's the result of my message encrypted using the Blowfish algorithm and that passkey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and paste this back to our discussion form. I'm going to start a new forum for my each person's allowed to start one. Post my message there. Anything else that you need to do, I'm going to post it to the forum. Okay, now you can see that um, I've posted a discussion message on the forum, and um, that's the first step in this lab. The next step is for you to find someone else who's posted a message and try and decrypt their message using the passphrase that we've used. So for this assignment, I'm just going to decrypt my own message so that you can see what's involved. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the encrypted message. See, oh, interesting. Here's their encrypted message. So I'm going to go ahead and, and set up my um, browser tab to access 
the decrypt tool and it's almost the same URL except it says decrypt. Great. I'm going to go back to the forum. I'm going to grab the encoded message, go to the decryption tool. I'm going to enter the, de the encrypted message in this block and I'm going to type in the symmetric key, the password, to decrypt this message. Here comes the future of money. I'm going to make sure I'm using the right algorithm, Blowfish, CBC, and um, I have to specify how this message here was encoded, and that message was encoded as hexadecimal. So I'm going to go ahead and decrypt this. Down below, you can see the um, phrase was correctly decrypted and at the end you see these characters that are sort of confusing. Um, those are um, zeros that have been added to the end of my message. Zeros don't, um, represent, don't translate into a character very well and the zeros are necessary because of the choice that I've made about the, about the cipher block chaining. Um, so that's fine if the, you have zeros at the end of your message for this particular assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that I'm going to take it back to the forum, and I'm going to say, hmm, let's reply to that. Say, hey, I decrypted your message. This is what I got. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete those zeros because I know that's not part of it. I'm going to go ahead and post the message. The last thing that you have to do is when someone has decrypted your message, you need to go back and validate with them or work with them to try and under, try and figure out if they didn't get it right, what they have to do to get it right, and if they did get it right, to confirm that they did get the right answer. So I'm going to come back to my message and say, okay, let's see. Here I decrypted your message. This is what I got four score and seven years ago. Yep, that's right. So I'm just going to reply to myself and say, great job. That was my secret message. And that's all there is to it. This is an opportunity to use symmetric key encryption and to think a little bit about some of about the video uh, that described what's going on behind the scenes in this, um, in this algorithm. All right, thank you very much.